Hey guys, I uh, got the car out and all cleaned up. I'm just about ready to put the summer wheels on. Uh, it's got the stock wheels on right now because when I store it for winter, I just leave, put the stock wheels on then it can sit for six months in the same spot. I don't really care about these tires. So this is what I'm putting on. I've got some Ford Star F14s with two 65, 35, 20s in the front and 345 30 20s in the back you can see this dagger here they are a lot wider than the 265s and you're probably asking how did I fit 345s on my s197 well the only way you could do it is if you give the rear fenders a little bit of a roll so I can try to show you here, if you can see right here, we flared out the fenders. So we ended up flaring each side about 5 eighths of an inch. So that gave me enough clearance to run those big tires. So I'm going to take these stock wheels off and I'll show you what I had to do to the inner fender to get it them onto. Hey guys, so here's the difference between uh, 285 and a 345. Alright, got my trusty straight edge on. Let's do a measurement. About, well, two and three eighths difference. Please excuse the rusty rotors, just washed the car, it's been sitting for six months. So what I had to do was remove the bump stop bracket and I also had to cut off the shock boot. Then after that I scraped off some of the heavy undercoating here, replaced it with some other undercoating and then I also had to make a... 200 thou wide spacer. So to get these 345 3020s on a Forge Star F14, I sent these out and got them widened by Weldcraft. So Weldcraft added three quarters of an inch. So now these are 11 and 3 quarter inch wide rims. There we got the 345 on. It's really nice in there. Fills out the wheel wells a lot better. As you can see, they're still actually under the fender with that nice little lip on it. So here's a shot from the back. It's hard to sh show how actually wide these look on the car, but Let's see if this works out. There's a 285. There's a 315. Two and three-eighths wider. You can see your back tires from the front of the car, you know you have wide tires. So the flare is also that gave me an extra little bit of uh, clearance in here since when I rolled them out it actually lifted up the wheel well arch. So I gained a little bit of actual fender clearance there as well. So there's a nice gap here. Doesn't look funny. I was very happy with it. Alright, got the new tires and wheels on. Looks way better in my opinion.
traction is also way better. If you can imagine like two and three eighths of an inch of tire width <laughs> times two. It's a lot of grip. All right, guys, got the wheels torqued, 100 foot pounds. Everything's ready to go for the summer. <laughs> Looks so good. Thanks for watching guys, see you later.